Okay, so now we're gonna be doing part two of our trees. And I have some black paper here. You don't have to use black paper. You can use white paper. You can color the background in blue, or you can use blue paper. I'm just using black because that's what I have. And I thought it would look nice, like a nice contrast. This is how my paper came out. And so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm actually gonna decide like, where do I want my trees to be? I'm gonna make three trees out of this. I like the di the different designs, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just cut my paper. I'm gonna cut it so that I can have three different trees. So this will be the bark of one tree. It looks really nice, I really love that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut through here. And this will be the bark of another tree here. And then I have this tree here, okay? And let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this so it's a little bit more even. And your trees can be thinner than this or smaller, it's okay. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, just kind of cut into here and maybe go around, just kind of cutting, making like a different kind of a tree shape. I'm gonna come in a little bit. I don't wanna cut too much of my pretty colors off just kind of making it a little bit more organic than straight as far as having a tree okay and I can even turn this upside down I think that maybe that looks a little bit better and I'm gonna go ahead and just make some branches in here and cut That looks pretty cool. And if you want to thin it out a little bit, you can. Maybe I'll come up here. There's no exact sciences. You can just cut it, play with it. If you want, you can draw them out first. So there's one of my trees. I really like that. And I really like the way that this came out here. So I want to be careful not to cut too much of any of that off and I'm just gonna kind of kind of come in here a little bit coming back up again and I'm gonna cut a branch here just cut into there so. maybe I'll go down a little bit another tree I'm kind of bring it in a little bit more here and cut out it's another tree I just love that I love the way that came out and now I'm gonna do this one Let's come on in a little bit I gotta go really don't want to get rid of that at all and Up again, this side, up here, and here, down. Let's see.
I want to cut this piece off here because I really like the way that looks. It kind of looks just like in the pictures that I first showed you of the rainbow eucalyptus. Let's pull this off. There we go. They're really cool. <clears throat> cool, cool. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can you can kind of come back in and add some pieces to it if you want to here. I like mine the way they are, but you can save these, all of these little cool extra scraps and use them for another project if you want. Okay, but I really like this. And so we can glue these down just like this. They don't need to have any leaves. Or if you want to, you can turn your paper and you can put them this way. You can go ahead and add some tops on to your trees if you want to. You can get some green construction paper and, and just maybe cut some little shapes that look like clouds in green and put them down on the top. I'm not gonna do that because I just think these are beautiful enough as they are. So I'm going to arrange them the way that I like. Kinda like it like this. Or maybe, let's see how that would look. Yeah, I like it better like this because I like the fat one in the middle. It gives it a nice balance and a nice composition. So, my glue stick. Just gonna turn this over. Put my glue, I'm careful not to get it on my black paper. Put it down. Make sure you get it it down to the bottom right here and then you want to press down top and then the next one You want to make sure it's even between these. Down. I'm sorry, my video is a little bouncy. It's, I have my phone holder attached to this board, which makes it shake a little bit. my pretty trees you can put this in a frame it's very simple but it's beautiful because of the different colors that we achieved and they really do look like rainbow eucalyptus trees and I hope that you guys um, that you try this out at home make sure you have somebody there with you okay and then take a picture of it make sure you're holding it so I can see your beautiful faces that I miss so much and then email it to me. Okay, guys, have fun.